Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, I have an oatmeal recipe and a waffle recipe for you today. Both are chocolate, so we can call this the chocolate edition. So I'm going to start with our chocolate oats. And I did have someone ask me if the oats were only available online to certain people. So clarification, you do not order your oats from Herbalife. You just add your Herbalife to your oats. So we like to use the minute oats. It makes it a lot quicker. Um, and this is how I make the oats for my kids as well, because they love the chocolate Herbalife oats. If you're Asian, you already know about Chaparrado, which is like chocolate rice. This is like spot on to that, but healthy version without all the sugar. So as you saw, I use my Herbalife measuring spoon and I do five scoops. It depends on your measurements and how you like your oats and what your goals are. So make sure that, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, don't have too much. If you need to gain weight, you know, just figure all that out with your coach, your portions, what you need. And here I do five scoops of the big side of your Herbalife spoon. And that's with the dry instant oats. And then I add two scoops of the vanilla protein. And because this oats um, is chocolate, we're going to use Dutch chocolate. And it's going to be two scoops of that as well. Just like when you make your shake. If you use two scoops of protein, you put two scoops. If you use one scoop of protein, put one scoop. And then, of course, your choice of flavor, which this one we are doing Dutch chocolate. And then because these oats are for me, I am going to add in my new mom. And if you guys are not using new mom and you're a mom, even, even if you're not a mom, these packets have so much beneficial things in them that you should definitely look into the new mom product. All right, so moving on, I have my electric kettle, of course, and I'm just going to add hot water into it. The electric kettle, I'm telling you, it changes lives. I am going to put the link to Amazon in the description, so go ahead and check that below. But as I get my boiling water in there, I am going to grab my scooper and mix it all together. Now, if you like your oats thick, and chunky don't add a lot of water but if you're like me and you like them creamy add more water than usual like you see me doing here i don't have water portions only because you know people use different amounts of oats so i did five scoops of oats and two scoops of protein two scoops of formula one and that all makes a difference in how thick it is so i just add a good amount of water because I like mine creamy the way you see it here and once I have everything mixed together very well I am just going to place something on top of it to trap the heat uh, for this instance I'm just going to use a styrofoam plate and I'm just gonna set it aside and by the time that I am done making my hot tea the oats will be ready to eat because we're using instant oats so if you're not using instant oats and you're cooking it on the stove Cook it the regular amount of time as you would regular. Just add your protein and your formula one to it. So with instant oats, it just makes it easier, especially if you have little kids waiting to eat. <laughs> so now um, with my hot tea, I like to do two scoops of lemon. And then I add in my probiotic because everyone needs healthy probiotics should definitely look into the probiotic product if you are not taking it already. Um, I do drink it about two, three times a day. And then I add in my beauty booster, which I also have daily. So I am going to add one scoop of beauty booster, which is our collagen for our hair, skin, and nails. So I add that into my lemon tea every single morning. And then I am going to grab my cranberry aloe. Now, it is no lie that this is the tea that I drink every single morning with my breakfast, whether I'm having a hot shake, a cold shake, oatmeal, waffles, whatever it is that I'm having, I always have this exact tea. It never changes. So by the time I add in my hot water from my amazing electric kettle and stir it all together, my oatmeal is going to be ready. 
So now that I have my tea all together in my cup, I am stirring it up. And then I will go ahead and show you guys how I prepare the oatmeal um, to eat it. So now that my tea is done, I'm going to remove the plate from my oatmeal. And I'm just going to stir it up, make sure it's the way that I like it. And then because I have, you know, OCD and I like things that look pretty, I'm going to transfer it over to my glass mug here. And I like to use these little um, rubber stuff so that I can get all the product out and put it in my cup. And then to top it, you can use chocolate, sugar-free, um, because it is chocolate oats. But I love the caramel. I like the taste of it. I love how sweet it is. And it's sugar-free, so I always add caramel on top of my oats. No matter what flavor Formula One I use, I put caramel. And then I'm going to add a little bit of sugar-free white chocolates because it's hot. And then it's going to melt in there, and it's just delicious. And then I add my sugar-free whip on the top. You can find that at Walmart. And again, that melts in there as well. And see, this is the oatmeal. It's very simple. A lot of people look into it and think it might be too hard. So simple, so easy, and so delicious. So you have to try it. Even if it's not chocolate, do it with your favorite Formula One flavor. Um, cookies and cream is another really good one. And banana caramel is amazing. Um, my son loves banana caramel anything. So the oats is 100% kid friendly. Go ahead and try that for you and your family. Let me know if you like it. Share my channel with your Herbalife friends, family. Uh, comment below, tell me if you like it, subscribe, turn on notifications, and just look how delicious this oatmeal is. And guys, again, if you want these products and you do not have a coach, please don't order from Amazon. Reach out to me. I'll let you know about the VIP memberships and discounts that we offer. Just please don't order from Amazon. It's not, it's not what you need. You need your coach and you need um, actual products. So moving on, I am going to make the Almond Joy waffles. So I have a client who orders this all the time and asks me to make a video. So this is going to be the Almond Joy waffle. And of course, I have my one egg in here. And for those of you asking, I know that you can make waffles with baked goods. I like actually baking with the baked goods. The waffle I like to use this vanilla PDM because it's just what I'm used to and the flavor is very sweet and it just gives that extra touch. So I still, yes, use vanilla PDM to make my waffles. So I put two scoops of that and then I put chocolate, Dutch chocolate. And again, this is for the Almond Joy waffle. And again, with waffles, I use the baking powder from Walmart. So I'm going to grab my Herbalife spoon and just put one scoop of baking powder in there. You don't need a lot. And then you're just going to add, drum roll please, some chocolate chips. Not a lot. I use this side here just a little bit to add in and, you know, it melts in it and it makes it delicious. And... Not everyone does Herbalife to lose weight, okay? You can eat these waffles and still lose weight. Just don't add a whole bunch of extra stuff. Now, a couple chocolate chips, no problem. You can definitely do that and still lose weight. So you don't have to deprive yourself. But again, I'm not your coach. Don't listen to me. Get with your coach. Get on your meal plan. Ask your coach if it's okay, if you can eat this, okay? But if you're my member... Let's talk, you know, I'll hook it up. So I am going to go ahead and mix all this in here and mix it together into the waffle batter. And then we'll put it on the waffle machine. And guys, you got to make sure that you're making this batter thick. It cannot be like watery because then your waffle is not going to come out great. 
So if you want your waffle nice and fluffy and thick, then you're going to have to make your batter a little thicker like you see me doing here. If it's watery, just you know, add a little more product in there, I guess. I don't know, but just don't let it, don't get it watery. <laughs> and if this channel is helping you, um, please like, subscribe, comment below, and share with your Herbalife family. And again, yes, I am not a professional. This is just my, how I make things. I don't have, I don't have the exact amount of measurements of everything. I don't have the exact nutrition facts of everything because I'm not a dietitian. I'm just trying to share some recipes to help people out. Even if they don't like the recipe, I mean, you can change it how you like it, or maybe it sparks a different idea for you to try. But I'm hoping that, you know, you'll benefit from these videos. And I just wanted to open up and share with you guys. So hopefully you're enjoying the channel. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos. And of course, I am journeying off to uploading more different kinds of videos. So um, feel free to watch those too. And now I am going to spray my waffle iron and then put my batter on the waffle iron. And if you have one of these like this, I just put it basically like right in the middle and when you close it, it's going to go where it needs to go. So with the Herbalife mix, I don't let it cook until it says ready. Usually if I when I first got this waffle maker, I would let it cook um, until it said ready. And then the waffle would be overcooked. Um, it'd be hard on the outside and really just crispy and not enjoyable. So I like to let it cook for about two to three minutes and then I'll flip it and check it and mm, let me see 98% of the time it is perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I decorate the waffle for the almond joy so honestly every single specialty shake that I have I am able to convert it into a waffle so every single shake I have um, I just decorate it differently and make it that same flavor as a waffle. I don't know if that's something you guys would like to do, but maybe that's an idea just to offer the same waffle flavor as any specialty shake. So usually when people say, oh my gosh, what kind of waffles do you have? I just let them know, okay, any shake that you see, any specialty or basic shake, I can convert into a waffle. So usually I just have people tell me, what they're craving and that's what I'll make them and that gives you a guaranteed returning customer because they are just that satisfied and happy that you hit those cravings. So just wanted to take a moment to tell you guys if you didn't hear it before please do not order Herbalife from Amazon. It is against rules and regulations. Um, people should not be sharing Herbalife through Amazon um, when you order Herbalife, you're not just ordering products. You're also getting an amazing community as well as a coach to help you reach whatever goals it is, whether it's weight loss, maintaining, weight gain, any reason whatsoever, your coach will help you. So if you do not have a coach, please do not order from Amazon. Just reach out. I can help you. Or if there's someone that you know in your local area, reach out to them and they can help you. But other than that, this is how I make my almond joy waffle so i cut it along the lines to make the little triangles and then i like to set them this way even if it's a client this is for me but if, if this was a client's order i would put it in a box and then put the paper down and i would sit the waffles like this and then i'm while the waffle's still hot you're just going to sprinkle some chocolate chips so that the the chocolate chips will start to melt and then once you have the chocolate chips on there um, you're going to add the next topping, which is going to be coconut. So I'm going to grab my coconut, and you just see me using my Herbalife measuring spoon. I'm not actually measuring, it's just what I'm using. So um, with the coconut, I'm just going to grab some with my spoon and sprinkle some across the top of the waffle. And... You'll be able to see it here. 
So the chocolate is melting and then you're adding your coconut so it just kind of goes together. And this is just perfect for Almond Joy. It's really, really good. So if you um is not an almond lover, you can always do mounds and just don't add the almonds because there will be almonds on here. So now that I have chocolate and coconut, I am going to grab my whip sugar-free and just add a little whip on each little triangle just because it looks good that way. And then I am going to grab my crushed sliced almonds and just sprinkle those right across the top on the whip because that is what makes it an almond joy. And then I am going to top it all off with some sugar-free Smucker's chocolate. Now I like to use the sugar-free Hershey's inside of the shake um, because it's more creamy. But the sugar-free Smuckers, I love using on baked goods because it's thicker and it's sweeter. So I just use these right across the top like this, and that will complete our Almond Joy waffle. And then you can just enjoy it and have an amazing meal here with your Formula One and protein. And if you guys like this channel, if you can please like, share, comment below let me know if you like this recipe and other than that i hope all of you have a great day order your products from your coach if you don't have a coach reach out i got you